Hi, I'm Joel. It's day 2,951 of my running streak. It's kind of chilly here. I'm uh, just north of Chichester on an old train line. Uh, I'm going for my daily run and you're coming with me. It's a nice day at least. Let's go. Today I'm running with... James Ellis, morning James. Morning, how are you doing? Alright, thanks for coming out, I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Now James is an interesting guy because he's the founder and owner of my local running store and I'm a real fan of independent running stores, they're a great place to hang out, obviously a great place to buy your gear, but they're always so full of people like us who are, you know, obsessed by running. <laughs> I find it a bit like a tool shop, a running shop. It's a tool shop for people who run, right? Exactly. The tools of your running are all available, so it's quite a nice to go and nerd out and... Well, you've got everything you need, you know, just to kind of take yourself to that next level. Uh, most people come to us with some type of issue they need to solve, and hopefully we can oh, yeah. quickly part of that. Because you did the running and gait analysis, which I've never had done until I came to your store. No, no, we, we take a, you know, a very important view of that, and recording people, making sure that they are fitted with the, the right shoes. So. Yeah, yeah. I guess technology makes that slightly easier perhaps than it has been in the past. I've always trusted people who work in uh, independent running stores to take a look at my gate and tell me what I need, but when you actually see it on the yeah, I mean, screen, it's a uh, different thing. Yeah, historically people have just seen you, you run up the road and maybe do a couple of kind of manual checks, but yeah, to get up to the, the computer, video, slow it down, put the angles in, it just means that yeah, it's going to be a lot more accurate as well. So well, one of the reasons I wanted to run with you is to get a measure of what's going on in the uh, running gear world because obviously I like to come into the store now and again and I try and search out running stores whenever I travel but what's, what are the latest trends, what's going on in jackets? I'm wearing a cycling jacket today but there must be better. You must be boarding in that one. <laughs> no, it's alright, it's yeah. not too bad but I'm sure I could do better. I think uh, innovation is probably the best it's ever been. Right. Uh, so materials are a lot lighter, you know, a lot more breathable as well. Uh, you've got new companies coming to the, you know, the front with regards to kind of apparel. I'm, I'm running it on at the moment, although it's super, super lightweight. Right. So is that that's waterproof? It's uh, it's weatherproof. Yeah. So it's it's not going to offer the same protection as a you know as a gore, um, but. It's probably going to be a little bit more breathable, a little right. bit more lightweight as well. So do you find you sweat up a bunch in that, or does it... I don't at all. No, that's one oh, thing. Not at all. That's great. Um, whereas a lot of the other kind of waterproof brands, you do tend to kind of become wet from the, the yeah. inside. I never know which is worse, being wet from the outside or the inside. <laughs> I think it's personal preference. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's not a lot you can do no, no. about either, really. <laughs> but I think uh, a lot of the brands are now taking apparel very seriously, whereas historically it was just, you know, buttoned onto the side of their footwear. Right. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So, but I'd say, Honor probably one of the biggest innovators at the moment, um, and you've got a few new people on the block with, you know, I'm running at a pair of 361s at the moment. Okay, I've never heard of them. No, no, they're relatively new to the, the UK, massive Chinese uh, company, um, but they feel pretty good. And these are your, your leggings or the shorts? Those are the, uh, the shoes actually. Oh, the shoes, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, uh, the leggings are actually up cool. So right. I guess what's one of the nice things about running a, a running shop is you don't have to pay for your own running gear. <laughs> Some of it I do. <laughs> Not a lot of it. So, uh, but we do get gifted quite, quite a bit to, to trial. Well, you've got to know what you're talking about. Exactly. So we're are, are on a... UK brand or a... No, it's, they're, they're Swiss. Oh. Uh, they're founded by a, uh, an ex uh, duo athlete. Right. Uh, and there's, there's three founders. And they've been in the market for about 10 years now, just under. No, I've seen their shoes. They've got the funny soles, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. interesting story with, with that. The founder actually came up with the idea from... He was having lots of Achilles problems. Right. And he got a, um, a hose pipe and cuts the segments of it. Right. It's stuck them to the bottom of his shoes. Um, that worked. Well, it lasted for about a mile and a half before they all dropped off. Oh, right, we're going this way. Sorry, Jeff. This to a, a loop brand here. Oh, sorry. So, 
cool. This yeah. is, um, and then that, the concept was really born, and it, it took a, a few years to, to adapt the, the shape, etc. But you know, they're the latest. Uh, it's always the probably one of the best out there, really. Now, do you find that runners generally are willing to pay the money? Because when you think of cyclists, yeah. like cycling is a very gear-intensive sport. Yeah. Like all my cycling friends are all mad for Rafa and various other brands, but the beauty of running is you can just run. Like, exactly. you know, I put my shoes and gloves on, uh, which are both, well, the shoes I've just bought from your shop, but the uh, gloves I've had for 10 years or something, and just run, like, just for the pure love of it. Do, yeah. do you find that um, runners don't mind spending the money? I think there's a, there's a lot of different schools of thought, really. I mean, we're, we're fortunate that I think people come to us for the you know the expertise and you, know, you can go and buy any old t-shirt if you want and that's that's fine but if you want one which is going to be you know, long lasting breathable you know you're going to run in comfort yeah so you need to spend not silly amounts but a little bit more yeah, yeah. Um, same really goes with with footwear yeah so you, you can you can go to any old sports shop and buy a pair of shoes uh, but you're likely to get injured or they're going to fall apart after it. Yeah, a few, yeah. A few miles. That makes perfect sense. I believe in good footwear for certain, and I like a, yeah. a comfortable shirt because there's nothing worse than dragging around heavy cotton or no. the smell of <laughs> poor materials after yeah, a couple exactly. of runs. We had that. We're going up. It's a nice morning for it. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> the last run we did of these was in Barbados, so <laughs> this a is slightly, <laughs> slightly cold. <laughs> I find my nose runs when I run in the cold. So what were you doing in Barbados? No, it was just a holiday, but uh, I managed to get a couple of interesting runs in for the channel. It was uh, fascinating. Yeah. I ran with the fastest girl on Barbados. Wow. That nearly killed me. <laughs> and I ran with a woman who came, the first female finisher of the uh, Badwater in the States. She trains 170 miles a week. She was uh, incredible. She was 21 miles into a run when she met me for my three mile. <laughs> and then she ran home. Incredible. How far did she run in total? <laughs> that day was probably 26, but you know, that's just an average day. Yeah. On a Saturday, she gets up at morning, she gets up at 2 a.m. and runs till midday every Saturday. Insane. Yeah. That's what I love about runners is they just quietly go ahead and do it like yeah, you, yeah. you know? Yeah. But how long have you been running? What was your, how did you get started? Uh, so I was uh, I was 12 when I started. Typical schoolboy. Yeah. yeah it's running the track and field and uh, just got picked up and it went from, from there really. So and what was your distance generally? Uh, so my preferred distance was 5k in cross country. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you competed for school or county or? Uh, I ran for the, uh, England, ran for Great Britain. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, so, yeah, it was okay. That was going to make you extremely proud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, I, things were going very, very well, and um, unfortunately, I suffered a, a pretty horrific accident when I was in my early 20s. Jesus, a car uh, accident? Or a... Yeah, well, I was run over by an articulated lorry. Holy shit, uh, while you were training? Uh, yeah, while I was cycling. Oh, um, Christ. Yeah, the last three wheels went straight over the top of me. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, so um, that was six months before going to America on a scholarship. Oh no. So, um, so that changed your life? Yeah, it did. I, mean, I managed to get myself into you know, fairly decent shape again, but I, I had to go through a number of surgeries. So, You're kidding. Um, and it was kind of every three to six months I was having something kind of, you know, uh, something changed. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, so. It's one of those. But well, credit to you for getting back on that horse. So, how long after that, in your chronology, did you decide I'm going to start a running shop? Uh, so, probably about four years later, I worked at uh, another store. Um, I worked my way up, and we we opened some doors together and had a lot of fun. And I just thought it was here time to, to kind of put my own stamp on. Sure. Well, I really admire what you've done for the, with the uh, 
the run company. It's a small store, but the advice you get is second to none. I really haven't found any better. Well, I think no, I really appreciate that. You know, we we you know are motivated by the passion and helping people. And that sounds corny, but it, it's genuine. You know, we we do actually care about our customers. Sure. Uh, so, do you have a fairly tight knit sort of community? Is that do you have a running club that runs from there? Yeah. So every Wednesday we go out and do a, a nice. 5k run that's quarter past six you don't need to sign up just turn up and right. you know, see you sign them for health and safety uh, yeah but we just you know there's no obligation we just want to make sure that we're there for the, the local guys and there'll always be at least 10 to you know 25 people that will nice. run along and have a chat and put the world to rights and you know etc yeah. so what's what are the brands that are selling most at the moment um, on on it's popular in the store i see but yeah You've got a lot of different brands. I mean, in, in our store, you know, Footwear Wipes, Brooks and New Balance are, are one and two. Yeah. And um, with Orton and Stockany doing pretty well. But Hoka has started to, to pick up again. Yeah. Um, Did they have a bit of a dip? With... A little bit, a little bit. Um, I'm not sure whether it was just exclusive to our store. Right. Um, or in the market, because you know, I hear that they've been pretty, pretty strong throughout, but... Yeah, we certainly saw yeah, On was picking up many, many sales. Um, I think this year for them, it's, it's quite exciting. Um, I think for the market, it's because they're certainly very disruptive. With Honor. Yeah, with, I mean, with their technology, with the way they look, um, and also just with yeah, the price point is one. Right. Um, because they want to be known as the premium brand. Right. Yeah. And and they're, they're doing it. everything they, they build is of high quality. Um, and do they spend lots of money on R and D? Like all the yeah, the, yeah the, 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 uh, the materials are all good. Yeah. I mean, the midsole itself is is relatively straightforward, um, but the you know, the upper you know and the cushioning system inside is is pretty good. I was worried about getting stones in the little hole. Yeah. I mean, it's a common, it's a common complaint actually. Uh, but the, uh, the the most recent generations, they've uh, they've funneled out the uh, the midsole slightly, so that it, it won't happen. So, how many pairs of running shoes do you personally own? Well, I've recently had a, uh, a clear out. Oh, so did you? It was only you know, half a dozen, but I, I did have probably about 20-25. My wife kind of throws her hands up in despair because every time I buy a new pair, like these speed goats I bought from you, yeah. uh, I don't throw the old pair. <laughs> yeah, I get attached to my shoes. Yeah, I've been told I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we're in a fortunate position that we get te- yeah, some to test. Yes. That they soon stack up. Not bad. <laughs> I'm quite jealous. I, quite like, I like uh, shoe gear porn. Yeah, yeah. Running gear porn. Right, this is nice to find a new, a new brand or a, oh, yeah. a new style that you like. Exactly. exactly. I think those who used to enjoy the old kind of ASIC feel, because they've changed quite a lot over the last kind of five years, yeah. will really enjoy the three six ones. Right. Um, because a lot of their tech guys, a lot of their design guys. They moved across oh, from, right. from A6 to 361. Right. Um, and yeah, we've only had them in the, the store for a few weeks, but the feedback's been incredibly positive. Are you finding them comfortable? Really comfortable. How's your gait? You must be fairly good. I mean, your experience in running pedigree, you must be fairly even. Uh, it, it's not It's not too bad, but you know, I still need a little bit of support, you know, just to kind of guide me through. Yeah. Um, I've got... <laughs> An arthritic foot, so uh, yeah, I, do. I do too. Yeah. So. so you've got to be a little bit careful. My left big toe is yeah, is causing me grief right now. Too many, uh, too many miles. You know. Yeah, I guess that's probably what it is. But uh, it's addictive. How often do you get out running on an average week? I mean, historically it was, it was a lot more. Now it's you know probably half a dozen times actually. Right. Um, just been very busy with a few other projects. Yeah, um, you've got a video company as well, right? Yeah, we recently launched uh, Unhinged Productions, um, so we're looking at working with 
for our brands but also independence as well and, and really trying to connect you know the big brands to the small guys you know, yeah. we've always found there's a, a gap and a lot of the marketing and literature and you know, videography is you can't you can't connect to it because um, most of the the content comes out of the US or it comes out of you know, Europe and you, as I say you can't really you know, engage with it so we've taken the steps to, to try and bridge that gap yeah I've seen some of the videos they look great but we're trying to have a compared with this anyway which is <laughs> shonkily <laughs> amateur good fun but I'm hoping uh, hoping that's the charm oh yeah, oh, yeah. Well, it's unedited so people know what they're watching and listening to is as it comes yeah Start to finish. <laughs> yes, quite right. So, have you got plans to open more stores? Ideally, I mean, at the moment, we're just seeing how the market is. How long have you been open? So, we've been open for four and a half years. Yeah. Um, but as I say, I think with Brexit coming along and, yeah. and the rest of it, it's it's a bit unpredictable. Yes. And it, it may, you know, it may amount to nothing. Um, but I think we'd be naive to. To start moving before that date, yeah. Just so you can get a feel for it, um, because some brands are talking about you know, price hikes, etc. Yes, you know, with import duty, but fingers crossed. Uh, well, I think we've all got our fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I don't want to pay more for my running. <laughs> well, we don't want to sell it for more. <laughs> no, <laughs> really. No, so. I do believe in spending good money on good gear. I get. I think it's a false economy to run in cheap stuff because it just makes the running more difficult. That's, I mean, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. I mean, that's, yeah, that's our philosophy. Yeah. But well, we... I think there's a limit to that, though. <laughs> yeah. There's a brand called Ashrami or Ashramai, or I don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah. They're lovely stuff, but I wouldn't run in them. <laughs> like, I might go out in them, <laughs> but I wouldn't run in them. Just uh, save it for best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take my wife for our anniversary dinner at them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean it is very nice stuff. Yeah, super expensive. Yeah. Do you find you find Marino is popular? Uh, not not really for us. Um, we we do a small kind of uh, arrangement. Uh, we find that working with companies like Oddmo, who are probably one of the most technically advanced in apparel. Yeah, they've developed a lot of materials. That, which are more breathable than that. Keep you cool. Horsey. More breathable than Maria. Yeah, but keep you really, really kind of comfortable and dry when yeah. you're running. Um, we're super, super lucky actually to, to have so many good partners. Um, but so Odlo are our kind of top power brand. Really. Yeah, I don't think I own any Odlo stuff. I try and keep a, a breast of the developments just because I'm interested in it. Yeah. But if I buy any more running gear, again, my wife will. <laughs> yeah. Just hide it under your jacket. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've got more running gear than anything else, for yeah. sure. It's off in the way, though, isn't it? So, I still think running as a, as a whole is a quite an accessible and inexpensive sport. Yeah. But, but it's the like oldest it. sport, right? It's, yeah. You know, we've done it since we were kids. Good morning. We're going up. I'll go down and back up. Okay. Uh, yeah, because everybody, kids, yeah. first thing they do is run. Exactly. Let me get out of the habit of it. So how did you get into running? Well, I've always sort of tried to run, but the running streak is, well, it's eight years old now. <laughs> and that was just a way of avoiding excuses to not run. Yeah. Because I've got an excuse to not run. I can't take it because <laughs> running is difficult and uncomfortable. But now my thoughts are not, am I going to run today? But when and how am I going to run today? That's hard. Which is the exact, which is a much better mindset, really. So, so when did it become apparent you're going to just keep on going? Well, I tried to do it for a year and raise some money for charity. Yeah. Well, I got to the end of the year and I thought, well, it'd be ridiculous to stop now. Yeah. And that was seven years ago. <laughs> so I think I've got the fourth longest running streak in the UK now. So how long have you got to get up there? 
Well, somebody else is going to die. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ron Hill stopped a couple of years ago and everybody went up in the rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad day, but... No. Right. 54 years. Imagine what life throws at you. It's incredible. In 54 years, you can still get it running. So we're coming to the back of Chichester, really, here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Towards, uh, Tesco, is it? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Got a railway station coming up. Oh, yeah. This is a nice run. It's the corner sound of a lot of people driving this evening. It's is so it? quiet. Yeah, no. quiet and flat. Yeah. yeah. The one I did in Barbados was super hilly. <laughs> and of course, because I'm holding this stupid selfie stick, I can't put my arms up the hill. <laughs> so it nearly killed me. A bit of resistance training. Oh my god. <laughs> Give it a strength. <laughs> And I only ran three miles. <laughs> she was on 23, 24. That's still mind blowing, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. She used to run 200 miles a week and she wasn't even training for anything. Just to run 200 miles a week. I've only ever known of one person to do that, and that was uh, Mr. Dave Bedford. Right. Famous story about him. He was sat at his bath on a Sunday evening, totted up his miles, and got to 196. And, Got out of the bar, went for a five mile and just over 200. <laughs> that is a very, very familiar running story. I'm sure all runners will <laughs> see something in themselves in that. I've often run up and down in front of my house to get my garments to change. Yeah. To tick over to that yeah. not not. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's in your DNA, isn't it? You know, a slightly obsessive personality. Well, it's a virtuous obsession, at least. Yeah, exactly. Which side? That side. Yeah. Coming towards the end of the centurion bike. What have we got on the bike? 2.8, that's almost perfect. Thank you, that's very cool. The nice thing about these videos is I get to run with interesting people. And it's a good way of getting to know people because. Oh, yeah. How often can you spend half an hour with somebody having a chat and not and not have the social convenience of a run? Exactly. It would be peculiar <laughs> if we just did this over coffee. Exactly. I see where we are. That's a perfect distance. Well, I hope it was enjoyable. <laughs> it was fantastic. Thank you so much. run up to the road and that'll be about it. Yeah. Gotta get three miles on the way. Exactly. You, you can kind of go around to the left. It's a little safer. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you, uh, James. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Anybody who wants some good sage advice, check out the run company in Chichester. It's uh, definitely worth your time. The people who work there are lovely, very well informed, extremely knowledgeable, and uh, very helpful. And I've uh, sorted out running problems and made my running uh, a lot more comfortable as a consequence. Well, oh, oh that was good, James. Thank you Appreciate so much. That's good fun. I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, best of luck with your video company. And we should talk more about that. Maybe you can yeah. improve the quality of my <laughs> output. It wouldn't be hard, I don't think. And uh, yes, um, I'll come into the store and spend some more money. It's a good place <laughs> to go. It's the Run Company in Chichester. Check it much. out. All right. Thank you very much. Have a do. good day. Take you care. Too, you too.